Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I am a bit, just to put it mildly, outraged about this story because we are back with yet another cheating situation. Apparently, the news of this year has been a bunch of husbands cheating on their wives, couples breaking up to focus on themselves after 10 years of marriage. The whole world is just combusting and apparently nobody cares about commitment anymore. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, ring that notification bell, and of course, you can go to dailywire.com slash Brett to check out my merch collection. I don't know about y'all, but the OG years of BuzzFeed YouTube that was like my heyday online. I did not do a bunch of stuff on Reddit or 4chan or, you know, go on deep dives on YouTube looking at weird things. Like literally I was so on the surface that I just sat and would watch hours and hours of clips from the Ellen Show and the Try Guys. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? And if you don't know who they are, the Try Guys are four guys. They were put together by BuzzFeed. They were BuzzFeed producers and they had a YouTube show. And then after a few years of huge success with BuzzFeed, they all left together and they started their own channel and their own production company called the Try Guys. They have almost 8 million subscribers on YouTube. I always enjoyed their videos and I only stopped watching in 2020 when COVID happened because they got so political. And I knew that they were lib, but prior to 2020, they had always stayed above the fray. They just tried to make people laugh. They seemed like good guys. And then in 2020, it became, you know, all COVID, get vaccinated, LGBTQ identity crisis, like all of this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I just don't want to deal with it. So I haven't watched them in a while. But this morning, I was scrolling on TikTok, as I often do, and I saw this horrific video. So if you don't understand what is happening here, that is one of the Try Guys with his wife, Ariel. And apparently he has been cheating on her and the photos were just leaked. Now to set the stage, Ned's whole identity for the last 10 years has been being married and loving his wife. My wife, 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 my wife. When they were still at Buzzfeed, he was the only married one and Ariel would come in and be like the mom to all the other guys, all the other bachelors and would love on them. And he was like, I'm older and more mature. I met my wife at Yale. We're so happy we're going to have babies. He, he, he. His whole thing was being married and I love my wife. And it started out very authentic in the earlier years. Like he was just so giddy and happy to be married to this like blonde bombshell, but they definitely went to commercial. Like they suddenly had huge Target brand deals and they made cookbooks and she had like a wife and mom podcast and she was featured more with the other try wives is what they would call them. And he blew up everything for his producer. The girl that he cheated on Ariel with is his much younger producer who is also engaged. You what? Here's some info on her. This is just a clip from one of the Try Guys videos that she was featured in. Andrea, I'm an associate producer here at the Try Guys and a food baby. So currently I am engaged. Very excited. We got engaged. She already annoys me. 2021. We've been together for about 10 and a half years. So right before our 10th anniversary, he proposed. So she has been with this man for 10 years. They've been engaged for, at, at, at this point, uh, over a year and a half. And she has been sleeping with Ned Fulmer, who she knew was married. That's not some kind of surprise. She's like, oh, I didn't know. And obviously we do have to put out there, there probably is some weird power balance here that is important to disclose because what Ned was doing, he could be sued for because he owns part of the Try Guys and the girl that he was sleeping with was an employee of his. So if she got fired, she could turn around and sue them. The whole thing is a hot mess. Obviously the internet is losing its mind because for the last 10 years, this couple has been a YouTube darling. Somebody said the hypocrisy of the Ned Fulmer cheating scandal isn't just that he made my wife his whole personality, but that he tried to turn his family into a lifestyle brand. The cookbook, the Target partnership, the DIY decorating stuff, making money off of his marriage while cheating absolutely disgusting. It's like, let me give you my manufactured happy family while I actually don't give a shit about her or my kids. I'm just going to turn around and cheat on her while making tons of money, making her look like a fool. It's disgusting. Another person said, Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys cheating on his wife after his entire personality for years was loving his wife is the exact reason I do not trust men. And you know, in the last episode where I talked about Adam Levine cheating on his wife, I really tried like, come on guys, we got to be better. I'm not going to shame all guys. I'm still not going to do that. 
But this story makes it a little harder, and it just makes my walls go up a little bit higher, because it's like, come on, man. Oh, man. It's just a bit nerve-wracking, you know? Another person said, Ned Fulmer is caught cheating on Ariel, wife and mother of his two kids, at a solo, sold-out Harry Styles concert in Madison Square Garden. Is a headline that would have sent me to a facility in 2014. Yeah, that was their heyday, where we all believed that Ned and Ariel were forever in the prince and princess of YouTube. So he flew to New York with his producer, what did they say? Hey, we're going to go shoot a video when really he's taking her to a Harry Styles concert. What if Ariel had wanted to go to the Harry Styles concert? She's a woman. She's a millennial. She probably did because everybody loves Harry Styles right now. But no, she was at home with their two kids while he was making out with this engaged young thing in Madison Square Garden. Another person said Adam Levine, John Mulaney, and now Ned Fulmer from Try Guys making the unholy trinity of saltine to make their brand about loving their wife and still cheat. Yeah, so we already talked about Adam Levine did all of his songs about, you know, waking up on Sunday morning, loving his wife, then did his whole Girls Like You music video where he was, you know, surrounding his wife with love and joy, making themselves into the perfect family. John Mulaney, the beloved stand-up comedian, also left his wife of many years and then turned around and like a month later had a new family and had gotten Olivia Munn pregnant. I believe it's Olivia Munn. And all of his stand-up specials were about his wife and how much he loved her in their marriage. Like, what is going on here? Is now <laughs> saying you love your wife a red flag for guys? It's just... Oh, oh god this whole society right now is just dumpster fire i saw another comment on one of these videos and somebody said their social media manager quitting last week and making passive aggressive videos since then is ugh, kind of sus so obviously i had to go find these we're getting into the backstory a little bit here their well-known social media manager who has almost 500,000 followers on tiktok quit on friday and then posted this on his page you That is just so salty and amazing. It is the best exit of any social media manager I have ever seen. He said, good morning to everybody except Adam Levine, John Mulaney, and dot, dot, dot. And then he zooms in on Ned and Ariel's cookbook. That is the only confirmation that we need. If nothing else was confirmed, that gives us some insight right there. So they had to know before all of this happened this weekend, because obviously this guy quit on Friday and posted it. You can also tell that the Try Guys knew because they started cutting Ned out of content and promotions back on September 2nd. That was the last time that he was featured in anything that they have released. He was removed from their show intro very quietly. He was edited from a couple of videos that people knew that he had filmed with them already. He's not featured in their new merch collection. They have been preparing for this for the last month. So all that being said, after this story blew up and the pictures were leaked, and by the way, this is a whole other story we don't really need to get into right now, but it is alleged that Alexandria, she's the mistress, that her fiance actually leaked the photos that they were sent to him and then he posted them on Reddit, maybe to get this whole thing to blow up because he thought that they were gonna, you know, get by unscathed. I don't really know, that is just a theory right now. But anyway, once all of that happened, the Try Guys, the whole company was prepared. Somebody tweeted and said, the Try Guys dropping Ned Vollmer for cheating on his wife and not just automatically sticking by their friend is what we like to see. I absolutely agree. They posted this and they said, Ned Vollmer is no longer working with the Try Guys as a result of a thorough internal review. We do not see a path forward together. We thank you for your support as we navigate this change. This is absolutely the right move. And not only should they call their longtime friend on his bullshit and his disgust, behavior. But as business owners, it is absolutely correct that they need to distance themselves from this man because what he did was not only immoral, but it was illegal. And he put their business and their reputation at risk. And of course, in classic 2022 fashion, Ned and Ariel also made posts on social media using the Notes app. It's a very normal thing. I was kind of bummed because Adam Levine made his statement after I had already released my episode about it. But first of all, this is what Ariel said. Thanks to everybody who has reached out to me. It means a lot. Nothing is more important to me and Ned than our family. And all we request right now is that you respect our privacy for the sake of our kids. Nice statement, very quick and short. She's not limited to any of her comments on her posts. And so people are just rushing to support her saying, you are so amazing. We're so sorry that this happened to you. We will respect your privacy, whatever. I'm bitter. And so I kind of hate that she said nothing is more important to me and Ned than our family. Like, obviously it's not. He would not have cheated on you and left you and your children if family was more important than anything. It should just be about you right now, which is why now we're going to talk about Ned's statement. He said, family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. 
consensual workplace relationship. I'm sorry for any pain that my actions may have caused the guys and fans of most of all to Ariel. The only thing that matters right now is my marriage and my children, and that is where I'm going to focus my attention. It should have mattered this entire time. You're now saying, oh, well, now I was caught, so I'm going to focus on my marriage and my kids. Bullshit. Absolutely not. This is almost exactly what Adam Levine posted on Instagram right after he got caught. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I... I was led astray, but I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on my marriage now. So just please calm down. Both of those statements are obviously so scripted and contrived and basically identical to each other. It's kind of like the male cheater version of the Lib Apology Tour, where they're posting all these videos. Like, I'm so sorry I said something that's like politically incorrect. Like, I promise I'm going to do, I'm going to learn and re-educate myself. Ned Fulmer and Adam Levine are just doing that to try to save face. The entire thing... It just bothers me. It doesn't make me angry at men specifically because I think that this is indicative of a much broader societal problem. I did talk about it during the Adam Levine episode and I'm just gonna try to drive it home here. We are living in a culture right now that does not value commitment, that does not value family and marriage and long lasting relationships. Instead, we are willing to throw it all away. Hookup culture is still running rampant and so many things need to change. I mean, our culture is literally disintegrating right in front of our eyes. And it might seem ridiculous to talk about, you know, celebrity cheating scandals and oh, the celebrity broke up, but but they represent what is going on in the underbelly of our culture and our society. And as celebrities, they inspire people. They subconsciously influence and lead us. We should not be looking up to them. We need to change this at the ground level because this behavior is despicable and it is not going to create a healthy society for our future whatsoever. Guys, we are adding new comment section content every single day. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. See you next time.